This is the U.S. Humanitarian Pouched Meal, or the HPM. It weighs 14.5 ounces, or 410 grams. Two are given to a refugee per day, and at 967 calories each, it's really not too bad. Also, check this out. Turkey patty, a humanitarian ration that has a meat item. We checked this out before, it's the HDR, or Humanitarian Daily Ration. It's over twice the weight and caloric content. I'd say the only real drawback that it has is it doesn't have a beverage base. I mean, because it's kosher and halal certified, anybody can eat it, it's vegetarian. Yeah, having meat is pretty nice, but the fact it's vegetarian means, again, unless you got a legume allergy, you know, like a bean allergy, this is probably better. It's more versatile came after this thing too. The other one's from the year 2000, it's six years newer. Anyway, let's give it a look. There's a tear notch at the top, but we'll just slit it from the back. Okay, so right off the bat, got that turkey patty. All the wrappers are unique to this ration. Food gift from the people of the USA. American made vegetable crackers, HPM type three. Wow, what's this? Bread, shelf stable. Look at this, strawberry jam, two ounces. HPM type three. Totally unique components. Look at these raisins. You can hardly read the pack. It's like all this reflective. You can barely read that. Trust me, it says raisins. See? Look at that. Distributed by Summit Foods. Even this is unique to this ration. Awesome. Oh yeah. Look at that. A beverage base. Wow. It didn't harden up. I do not know of its storage life at all like its background of how it was stored or any of it. But this is a really good sign. Lemon Lime Splash contains less than 5% juice. That's kind of a rip off. Oh well, anyway, but this is vitamins added, complete with sugar. From 1991 to 1994, there was a refugee crisis where a massive amount of Haitian people were fleeing from their country by boat. And about 12,500 of them ended up in Guantanamo Bay. They were short on dining facilities and water supply. And they had to come up with something fast to feed those people. That is an amazing sight. I don't know when I'll ever find one of these again. It's pretty amazing. Turkey, water, whole leg, textured soy protein, sodium tripolyphosphate, and garlic and black pepper. Such an odd, different kind of retort pouch. I feel like I got the golden ticket. The 340th day of 1994. We're gonna boil that in the pouch for about maybe like eight minutes. All right, let's get the salad on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by checking out that lime, lemon lime splash. Let's see here. Hmm, yeah, this smells like old school Gatorade mix or like Kool-Aid from the early 90s. Okay, 
Let's check out that patty. Not much in the way of liquid. shelf stable bread this might be a hamburger bun let's see oh wow that thing looks like a Canadian IMP hamburger bun and is beautiful for its age this is oh it smells pretty yeasty though but I mean you had a fresh pack that will keep it from molding up, along with who knows what list of varying preservatives. Wow, hey, this piece came out here. It's, hmm. Let's see here. There, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'll let you know. Like, just a, a little bit yeasty. Oh, probably normal. Like, seriously. Let's check out these raisins. Ooh, they have a nice, like, caramelized smell. They are perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. They just got more dry as time's gone on, and they were already dry. That's the beauty of it. And that's awesome. When food has low moisture to begin with, so much less can go wrong. I gotta check this out. Oh, look at that thing. Satisfying granular chew. A perfectly aged old raisin. Okay, that turkey pie is still hot. Nice hiss. Ooh. It sounded like there was a second hiss after, but it was probably just the packaging. Yeah, these are going to be those awesome, like, firm, sturdy crackers that'll hold together. Check this out. Oh, wait. They smell fine. They smell like old-school vegetable crackers, which, gosh, were vegetable crackers even around in 1994, 95, USMRE? I don't think so. Whoa, they fused together. Look at all the little green chili or, like, who knows what, oh, green pepper, that's, they're salted. I'm gonna have to save some of that vegetable cracker for, like, later. I mean, I don't know, I mean, it's gonna be, I'm never gonna find it again. Oh, they aren't fused. Nice. They are absolutely incredible. This is a really cool ration. It's not scored, it's just like a bread loaf. A non-cut bread loaf is pretty much what that was. Wow. Almost looks like it's whole wheat. Man. It seems okay. Here, hold on. Let's do... I can't believe they give you this much jelly. I'll just do it like this. Sorry. I'll, that's, I'll, I'll keep that little piece, too. All right, hold on. Let's check this out on its own. Then we'll get to the dining the fine dining of that turkey. Whoa. A little bit dark. Actually, still has some color here. That's like dessert. So let's check out that turkey. Well, must be dark meat. I mean, a dark meat, super processed. Just amazing. Look at all the seasoning, or whatever that cluster of stuff. Let's give it a whiff here. Seems fine. Here, hold on. 
I'm gonna take it off the spoon. Let's take a little nibble. Oh man, it's like turkey sausage. It's pretty soft. It has a nice garlic flavor though. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. At this point, it's actually kind of cold. It's like a, a dark meat turkey loaf. Mm. I mean, the garlic kind of overpowers whatever, like, almost like metallic liver pate. I think I've had my fair share of that. I don't know. We might go back to it. Who knows? This lemon lime beverage base. Whoa. That's an unusual, like, zest. I don't know, it's getting better as I drink it, but whatever that is. Hmm. Now for this. Hmm. Man. Hmm. The salt with this perfect crunch. You can tell they're the old style MRE cracker where it's firm and it has that. Oh man. Green and red bell peppers. And you can taste it, accentuated flavor with the salt. Much better flavor. The vegetable cracker recipe, it's different these days, completely different. This is a rare treat. Mm. Let's check out some raisins. A nice handful. Mm. Pretty unusual. Oh. So rich. I don't want to shortchange myself. I have to have large handfuls at each. Hmm. They're not thirst provoking. They must not have tasted like that back in the day. I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they were always dry. I just don't understand how they lasted this long without any kind of degradation. Like, nothing grew on them. No, like, decrease in their flavor at all. If anything, again, a increase in flavor. It's like an amplified raisin flavor. It's like raisins times five. And twice as dry. This is amazing. It's like flatbread, a vegetable, shelf-stable vegetable flatbread with these rich raisins and a kind of unusual and halfway decent lime drink. Jelly donut. That's what I'm gonna pretend this is and see if it works. We're gonna need to improvise. See if this helps out at all. Hmm. Absolutely does. You know, it really offsets a lot of that kind of dull flavor that it has. It's a dull, overly processed meat patty from the mid 90s. I feel like has held up quite well. It's just 
was never really all that great. It's probably why they give you so much jam. Turkey and dressing, essentially, is what they're giving you here. It's pretty demented, but... Hmm. Jeez. Best vegetable crackers and raisins. Oh man. Hmm. Look at that. Salted vegetable cracker. Man, I wish you could try this. Shelf stable food achievement. I don't know why the salt was only ever in this. Oh man. The shell stable bread was pretty yeasty and dry, still edible, but definitely not palatable. The vegetable crackers, the raisins and beverage base were in great shape. The strawberry jam was a little bit oxidized, you know, darkened, but it wasn't too bad. It really helps with the turkey patty. An innovative ration that really fit the bill for what it was needed for in the short amount of time that they had to whip it up to really put it together to give to these refugees that needed it lived off this for some time. I think I'm gonna save this. So that was the HPM. What an experience. Well anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. I'll be coming back at you with something new. Alright, cool. See ya.